Merry Christmas, everyone! And what better way to celebrate Christmas than by, I guess, reviewing someone that is in the same field as me. This guy had a fun Stev discussion. Dragon Star Productions is a fellow Dragon Ball what if -er. He's got quite the few creative videos in his background, including one where he puts himself in Dragon Ball. Lots of creativity in that one. When you first talk to a YouTuber in your field, you tend to ask a lot of questions. You can't answer them all, so paranoia starts to set in immediately. What are they like? What's going to happen? Are we going to fight? Is his voice going to be different from his videos? All of these questions come to mind, and I'm to do these with someone I'd never met? Now, I love every step discussion I was able to arrange, and the people I met on this online journey are just awesome. But if I did a day of Krampus for every What If YouTuber, I'd have to make it 31 days, which doesn't fit. So, why is Dragon Star so special? The paranoia went away fast. He was as chill of a dude as I could have gotten. Like I said, I loved every guest appearance on the show. The conversations were all extremely unique and special to me. Dragon Star Productions just had an air about him, an air that a good friend who you know you can talk to has. It was great! If I were to recommend a few of his series, it'd be the one I said earlier, What If Bardock Killed Frieza, and What If Piccolo Was the Main Character. He brings his personality to every video, which I think is important for his viewers. Hell, for any viewers. The creator who puts his or her best foot forward and acts with authentic personality is just... Well, it's real with their audience. It gives viewers a sense that they're getting to know the person and that they're not getting to know some act a person puts on. So you keep doing you, Dragon Star Productions. Good luck on 5K and thank you for everything. And speaking of thanks, let me thank another tomorrow who offered a huge help to my channel.